Okay. Apparently there's going to be a part two video here. Um, I, I know this section is, is dry. It takes, there's a lot of stuff to it and it's really important stuff. Um, so I, my, my videos normally are not going to be more than 15 minutes long. I, I try to keep it below 10, but there's, like I said, just a lot of stuff with this. We're almost done. All right. Um, I'm not sure where it cut off. I just saw the notification as I was blathering away. So I think we're on name four different rays. BA, ray BD is a different one. So we've got uh, this one here. We got ray BD. We go and uh, let's go the other way. We can start at A and go through B. Remember, ray is kind of like that laser beam. It starts at one point, goes forever in the other direction. So we can go ray A, B, different. Uh, we can go ray B, E, starts at B, goes through E. Again, naming things, capital letters. A ray starts and so you got and goes on forever. So you got the one arrow. One pair of opposite rays. So I'm going to look at line M here. Opposite rays. Same um, starting point, but going in opposite directions on a line. So we got this line here. I'm going to start at B. Going through D. I'm going to start at B, going the opposite direction on that line through E. All right, so there's the two opposite rays. Name four segments. Okay, I'm just going to, well, let's talk about naming them right. Let's do it correctly. We got segment AB, name a segment with a dash. We got segment DB with a dash. We got segment uh, BE with a dash. Those are the main small little segments, but we can go bigger. We can go segment DE. Now remember with the segment, it doesn't really matter which the order is. Uh, there's four segments. Okay, we got them. Uh, name a pair of collinear segments. Collinear means on the same line. So segments that are on the same line. We already named a couple of them. Let's look at this line right here. So a segment would be DB. On the same line of DB is segment BE. Okay, and that answers the question. That's a pair of segments that are on the same line. Just to throw this in the mix, we could have done segment D, E. Those, those three segments are all on the same line. All right. Last slide here. It's another example. This is in your notes. Um, kind of doing the same thing. You're looking at the picture. You're visualizing these shapes, and you're working on naming things correctly. So, use a diagram to answer these questions. Name the plane that contains points A, B, and C. Okay, so let's, let's analyze this picture here. This plane, it's a little bit more, just the way it's drawn, it's a little bit more vertical. And then this plane right here is a little bit more horizontal. So, uh, the way it looks, honestly, think of a laptop. This plane that's kind of shaded in darker is like your keyboard. This plane S is more like your screen. They are intersecting right here at this line that contains B and G. Okay, so part A, name the plane that contains points A, B, and C. B is on the intersection. That means point B is really on both planes. Okay, so the plane that contains points A, B, and C, that's plane S. Name the line that contains points A and C. There's no other name. You can just do A, C. But it's a line, double arrows. Name three points that are collinear on the same line. So three points on the same line. I'm looking down here at D, F, and E. The order that you name them does not matter. Just list them. D, F, and E. Those three points, they're on the same line, so they're collinear. Name three points that are not collinear. Okay, you've got a ton of answers. Um, basically, you can choose any set of three points as long as they're not D, F, and E. All other combinations of three points, they're not going to be on the same line. You just can't choose D, F, and E. Choose D, F, and any one of A, B, C, or G. doesn't matter. Okay, name the line at which planes S and T intersect. Okay.
kind of already did in describing the picture. Two line, or sorry, two planes intersect at a line. So these two planes are crossing at this line BG. So capital B, capital G, it's a line. Even though it only looks like a segment, you know, it kind of stops here, ends here, we call it a line in geometric terms. Name three points that are coplanar, coplanar, but not collinear. Okay. So coplanar means on the same plane. Collinear, not collinear means they're not on the same line. So don't choose D, F, and E because they are on the same line. Um, I'm going to go, let's go with this top plane. We got A, C, those are on the same line. That's okay. But we're naming three points. So use A, C, and then either B or G. Okay. Finally, that's the end of the notes. Again, normally they're not going to be this long, so sorry. But um, I want you to try the try doing the other problems that you saw, other examples that you saw in your notes, and then try doing the homework problems, and then make sure you check your answers, ask questions when you have them. Bye.